Hello, comrades, and welcome back to Ushanka Show. Здравствуйте, дорогие товарищи. В эфире программа Ушанка Show. Comrade John Wayne Cheeseburger is speaking. Told you touch nothing, but you're just a bunch of cowboys. So today we're going to talk about Yugoslavia. I don't know why, but this topic about relation about Soviet Union and Yugoslavia was requested a lot and for a long time. But before we begin, I want to remind everyone that I was born in 1971. So I first became aware of Yugoslavia probably around end of 70s, early 80s, not before that. So I want to break uh, my Yugoslavia story in two chapters. Stalin era, relations between Marshal Tito and Marshal Stalin, and 80s when I was aware about Yugoslavia. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Yugoslavia was quite a unique country comparing with other Eastern European countries like Poland, Bulgaria, Hungary, which was, we can say, occupied by this Red Army after kicking out Germans. But at the same time, Yugoslavia got its own leader, not the one that was introduced from Moscow. And if you are not familiar with Marshal Iosip Broz Tito, there are plenty of information online, Wikipedia and such, when you can uh, find some data and details about this Yugoslavian leader. And although Broz Tito was a big fan of Comrade Stalin, as you see on this picture, there's a portrait of Stalin right behind Marshal Tito on the wall. Their relations went south pretty quick after the end of World War II when uh, Tito announced his policy of Yugoslavia first. And I find it really interesting because Yugoslavia picked the socialist way, but still it made Stalin so mad because Tito refused to be his little uh, puppet. And Stalin wasn't a huge fan of Tito way before 1948 when the real trouble started between Soviet Union and Yugoslavia. Uh, Like this article right here from 1944, it's quite interesting. So this is a communique from Iosif Bros. Tito to Iosif Stalin, published in the Soviet newspaper Pravda Vostoka, The Truth of the East. So that's maybe far east like Vladivostok or maybe east like one of the Asian countries because they're also sometimes called east. It was published in October 25th, 1944. So in this communique, Marshal Iosif Bros. Tito expressed his uh, gratitude uh, to Iosif Stalin and the Red Army uh, due to help with uh, freeing the capital of Yugoslavia, Belgrade, Belgrade, from the German army. And it's just a, it's not a long one, but basically it says they spill blood together. It's very important to them be together. Glory to the heroic Red Army. Glory to the great Soviet Union. Uh, glory to the great commander of Red Army, Comrade Stalin. And it's uh, signed by Marshal Iosif Bros. Tito. So, as I mentioned, it was published on October 25th, 1944. And the next day, everyone in that newspaper was arrested. And apparently, they all got shot. The copies of this newspaper were confiscated from sale. Um, NKVD officers uh, went to everyone's apartment who was subscribing that newspaper, confiscated the copies. So currently they have only six copies uh, survived and is one of the examples. So just just a saying thank you to Comrade Stalin from Comrade Bros. Tito uh, for helping with freeing Belgrade from Germans. And people in the Soviet Union got in serious troubles for that. And that's in 1944. So now what I want to do is to show you some of the caricatures in the Soviet magazines and newspapers that appeared around 1949, 1950, and uh, to show you how Soviet government uh, looked at the Marshal Tito, and you, <laughs> you'll be amazed. 
Okay, so here's the first caricature from 1949. It's titled His Way. She likes it my way. Now oh, I'm a horrible singer. I apologize for that. So why is it Yvo Put? His Way. On the top right explanation. В одном из своих выступлений Тито заявил, что он идет к социализму своим путем. In one of his speeches, Tito announced that he goes towards the socialism by his own way. I may need your help on this one, uh, but Tito is marching towards, looks like Mussolini, uh, standing on a swastika block. And of course he has a big bloody axe. And right next to him, I guess it's someone from Greece. Also a fascist, greeting Tito. And if you look at the marshal in his pocket, uh, it's full of dollars. So he sold his soul to the Americans. And under his uh, left arm armpit, there's a book. And it's by Hitler called Mein Kampf. So pretty much, uh, yeah, uh, his way to socialism is actually the way towards the fascism. Paid by American dollars. Uh, learned uh, by the... Hitler's book and marching towards Italy and fascist Greece. Okay, there's another one, uh, this one titled About Elections in parentheses in Yugoslavia. So kind of the hinting that it wasn't real election. And Tito says, and now let's count who voted against me. And on the top right, there's a short explanation. Uh, Tito announced election into Novaya People's Kupšina so that's like parliament, I guess, in Yugoslavia on March 26. And then it says, Fascistka predatelska klika Tito. Man, they load up heavy. So it's a fascist, traitorous clique of Tito takes away electoral rights of the best fighters for worker class and peasants and killing them, uh, throwing into jails and concentration camps. If anyone knows what this cartoon is talking about, so that's election of March 26, 1950, and Tito put a bunch of people into prisons and concentration camps. And once again, let's quickly analyze the picture. His uh, belt buckle has swastika, okay, so he is a fascist. His medal has a dollar sign, so he sold his soul to America. Uh, same thing on his um, military hat, another uh, dollar sign. And then on his uh, shoulders, you got uh, skull and bones. And of course, the whole idea that he's counting who voted against him by counting empty bullet shells from people he shot. Okay, next one. This one was published in 1949 and it's titled Gadiuchie Gnizdo. The nest of the snakes. So you have a big fat snake, which you probably can recognize. It looks like Tito. And he has a swastika and dollar signs all over his body. And other snake to the right is a terror. Another one, uh, spies on the bottom right. One on the left. I can't read what it says on the left. Just a second, see. Oh, diver diversity, so that's like um, uh, terrorist attacks and snake next to the Tito is Predatelstvo, so it's treasons. And of course you probably recognize the, I think it's called Pipe Hat of the Uncle Sam. So it's all paid by Uncle Sam. Okay, number four. Uh, so this one says a quote or comment from the Wall Street. So this says, this is the backup of Rankovic. Well, now in Belgrade we have our own hand. So you see the American military and its hand called Rankovic. Alexander Rankovic, a former deputy prime minister of Yugoslavia. He was Yugoslav communist politician, considered to be the third most powerful man in Yugoslavia after Joseph Bros Tito and Edward Kardegi. And the comment on the top explains, in the last year, Tito and his evil handyman Rankovic 
killed, arrested, tortured, and killed by torture more communists than it was done by bourgeois regime of Yugoslavia in 10 years. So that's another interesting comment. I wonder if uh, any of my Yugoslavian friends can um, comment on that. So they claim that in one year, Tito and Rankovic killed more communists than uh, prior to that uh, 10 years of the bourgeois government of Yugoslavia. This one kind of interesting. It's called uh, the direct hit, Premoje Papadanje, and I'll need help again here. So the Tito's words, my uh, pitomci, so that the one he raised, people he wanted raised, are not lucky. Right from the school desk, they uh, found themselves on a, a bench for the criminals. So here they're looking at the map, says Schema Spionska Agentura UDB. So it's like the scheme of a spy uh, network of UDB, which is Yugoslavian, uh, like a KGB, uh, state security. And on the bottom of the same caricature, uh, the same people, Tito's buddies are on the bench of the in the court and this thick book on the right that says case the case of Tito spies so that's another interesting thing uh, where those uh, Tito spies were discovered in Soviet Union or somewhere else and this uh, uh, picture was drawn in 1951 this cartoon uh, titled Franco and Tito has a lot in common so they both standing in the front of the prisons with a bunch of keys. They're both chopping, I guess, people's heads off with their swastika axes. And they both on their knees in the front of the Wall Street holding a dollar in their mouth. And in the future, they're going to be on the bench in the court. All right, more Tito hate. Uh, this one titled very shortly, it's called Platyzhom Krasin. So we have this expression in Russian language, Dolg Platyzhom Krasin. So it means that is always needs to be paid. So here Tito done his job and someone pays him with dollars. You know who the person is, right? My goodness, there's another one. So this one is titled После выборов в народную скупщину. After election and the people's скупщина. So that's like a parliament, I assume. And here Tito says, Dear Mr. Wall Street. So it's kind of interesting. They call, you know, American influence Mr. Wall Street. So not America, just the uh, capitalists. Позвольте от всей души поздравить вас с победой на выборах у нас в Югославии. Let me congratulate you from all my heart with your victory in our election in Yugoslavia. So you see there's a lot of sarcasm. Congratulate you with the victory in election in our Yugoslavia. Okay, moving along. <laughs> there's another one. So here's a Tito holding uh, Yugoslavska Constitutia, so the Constitution of Yugoslavia in his hand, and he lets an American guy to uh, do some corrections. And the workers uh, asking a question, Почему он вносит поправки в эту Конституцию на правах автора? Why is he making changes in this Constitution? That's because he is an author. So the comment on the top left explains that the actual author of this new Yugoslavian constitution, according to which Tito will become his dictator of its country, so the author of this constitution is the ambassador of the United States in Belgrade. And as a cherry on the top, we have uh, another cartoon from our friendly neighbors from Romania, Rumunska Caricatura. And it pretty much shows Radio Belgrade. So that's a radio station that spread lies by Tito. And all I can say in Romanian, Romania ora exacta. That's the only <laughs> sentence I know in Romanian. But quite similar topic. Uh, Tito has a dollar sign on his military hat and a swastika. 
and also another dollar sign and another swastika, so quite similar to the Soviet caricatures. Okay, comrades, so this video was like a short warm-up, and in my next story we'll talk about what Soviet people thought about Yugoslavia back in the 80s when I was a teenager living in Kyiv, Ukraine. And as always, don't forget to post your comments and questions, and of course likes, and we'll talk to you soon. До свидания. Goodbye. to have a signed copy thank you and if you love my channel and would like to show your support please click on the link below this video and become the patron of the Oshanka show for as little as one dollar you can help us grow and create the new interesting videos about the life in Soviet Union